Welcome to another video of my new for beginners tutorial series, Iterator. In this series, we have used for loops quite a few times. To refresh our minds on the for loops, a for loop goes from the first element of the given container to the last. It counts upwards by default, and it does this by using an iterator called countup. There are two types of iterators in NIM, inline and closure. All iterators in NIM are by default inlined. We will talk about closure iterators and their differences in a future video. Iterators look very similarly to a procedure. When making an iterator, you will not have access to the special result variable that procedures have, nor can they be used recursively, meaning the iterator calling itself within its code. Inline iterators also don't have access to the return keyword. Let's demonstrate this. Let's make a simple for loop with a range for e in 1 to 10, and then echo the e. Let's run this. Here we go, it echoes from one to 10. Now, this for loop used the default iterator count hub on the one to 10 range. Let's demonstrate this by copying this and using the count up iterator. Count up from one to 10 again, and run this. Here we go, it displays from one to 10 twice because this is the same. We can also count down from 10 to one. Let's comment this out and copy this one. And use count down iterator instead and reverse the arguments 10 to one and run this. Here we go. It goes from 10 to one. Now, like I said before, Iterators look very similarly to procedures in structure. So let us try to recreate this count up iterator on our own. So iterator instead of proc, followed by name. So let's call it C up so it doesn't conflict with count up. Then we give it two arguments, x, y. So it will count from x to y and then it's type, so integer, then return integer, because it will need to return the value, so the for loop knows where to go. Now we need a new variable to store the value of x, because we will not be modifying it, and we need to pass the value from the iterator to a for loop, so var a is x, now we will use a while loop, while a is smaller or equal to y, meaning let's say we give it value of 1 and 10, so it will go 10 times. And then we use a special keyword called yield. What yield does is passes the value of a variable back to a for loop and then goes back and continues. So yield a and then increment the counter, increment a. So it will go from 1 to 10. Now let's explain this more thoroughly. So in order to do this, I need this to show you better. Some color syntax. And change this iterator back to the range we had, 1 to 10. Let's start at the beginning for E, every element in 1 to 10 range, which is a container. We pass this 1 into the X of our iterator and the 10 as the second argument to y and then we make a new variable a and pass the value of 1 from x to it then we start our loop while 1 is smaller than equal to 10 we yield that 1 which gets passed back to the for loop which then echoes it displays it on the screen then we go back to the iterator increment it, the value 1 to 2 then we go back to the for loop which starts another cycle and it starts with two to one range and then it repeats. Well, let's remove this and actually use our iterator, our recreation of the count up. So for i in c up, let's say from zero to five, echo i and run it. Here we go, this is the first one up here. Count down from 10 to one, and then one to five. 
let's comment this out and let me show you that when using a for loop on a container say array the items iterator gets called implicitly by the compiler so for i in array of let's say two five seven and echo i we get two five seven now let's call this items iterator explicitly to demonstrate this so copy this and type items and then parentheses and run this here we go exactly the same now i will show you that if a for loop has exactly two variables it implicitly calls the pairs iterator on the container firstly let's hide this code and then for x and y two variables keys in container array let's put two more arrays inside of it separate by comma and let's make the first one with odd numbers one three and five and the second one with even two four and six and then display echo the results echo x echo y and run this now the first zero is because x goes through the first container which its index is zero and the second one is one so it displays here zero and one here while y displays the, each container's contents meaning one three and five now to demonstrate that the pairs iterator was called over here let's copy and paste this firstly also an echo to separate empty echo paste over here and now call the pairs on it and run this here we go exactly the same also to note every library module in them has its own iterators and that's it for this video thanks for watching like and subscribe if you liked it you can also support me on patreon if you had any problems with any part of the video let me know in the comment section the code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun!